Hello again guys, so I finally fixed my printer problems. Well, I have to say it wasn't as much a printer problem as it was a user problem. Uh, user error. Uh, for over half a year now actually, I have been struggling with this. This is literally ironing on the top surface. But it's not only related to that, let's see if I can find another one here. Because the issue was also really apparent on like just if I did like a this is like a few layers when I try to calibrate. Basically I call this waves in your print because it looks like there are literally waves traveling across. And I thought I had everything calibrated correctly um, uh, this is a filament I used to use a lot before and I tried new filament I tried to declog I tried to make my own way of adjusting or uh, calibrating set height uh, of course I tried to dry my filament uh, I tried the retraction settings I tried different kind of patterns, especially I tried to fiddle with speed because I thought it was the issue, but um, yeah, none of that actually mattered. After about half a year now, I found an article on uh, Bamboo's website that dealt with small like issues you could have with your print. And there was one small thing that jumped out at me. Most filaments do not need, it's extremely rare that filaments need a flow value set higher than one. And this filament here and the white filament as well had flow values that they actually calibrated. And during calibration, they looked quite good. As in, I, I thought they were good. So I, I had pinned those values in to be perfect. But those values were really high. Like for, uh, for this one, the black one, it was 1.097. For the white one, it was 1.06, I think. And, and when I was visually inspecting the print, it looked like the nozzle was dragging over the surface and pushing filament to the side as it was printing. And I thought this was initially because the set value was too low. So it basically it was too low compared to the filament it squeezed out, but it wasn't. So, so with that in mind, I have also dismantled my X1C. I have cleaned all the lead rods. I thought it was because there was dirt under it, so the dirt maybe made it wobble, something like that. So I had it apart. And during this, I also learned about maximum length for the PTFE tubes on X1C, which caused me to have a lot of uh, clogs and uh, clogs in the nozzle, uh, the hot end and in the extruder. Both of those are fixed because I managed to fix the length of the PTFE tubes. And then I still had this issue here. And uh, it turns out that my flow value was really bad and my K value for the white one was also bad. And once I managed to calibrate those correctly, I got a totally different result when printing. So basically because those two values were totally out of whack, I could not print these fine details. Now I can. And I could not use ironing because this is ironing with too high flow values. And this is ironing afterwards. 
and the text here was pretty much impossible to print. Here is an example of the text when I try to print it. Look at the difference. This is perfectly flat. This looks like it came out of a grinder. Another example. So basically too high a flow value will result in wave patterns like the ones you see here. So if you if you wonder why you have waves in your filament potentially on layer 2 and upwards until the last layer and it just gets worse and worse when you're printing I would say that your flow value is set too high so you're basically over extruding so it's pressing filament to the side of the nozzle as it's printing and it's never going to be able to uh, clear that out I don't know why the wave patterns happen but that is the only thing I found to be the reason. And I don't know if you can see it here, but uh, even the lines on the side on this one, they are just squashed. It's more apparent on this one. Here you can see it really well. And here you can see that the details are just popping out like nobody's business. And... Uh, yeah, so I just wanted to tell you guys, if you if you have these uh, wavy patterns, looks almost holographic on your 3D prints, make sure to uh, recalibrate your flow values. And I think you need to make sure they are below 1. Because if it's above one, you're over extruding, and one is like a hundred percent. And if you if you have uh, if you have calibrations and you go down, then you go down by one percent per step uh, to get to the ideal uh, one you have. So uh, don't do the mistake I did and uh, go above one in. Uh, flow value of your filament because as it said on bamboo's website it is extremely rare that you actually need to go above one for the filament usually it's other factors like stay at one but maybe increase your heat a little bit uh, especially with white filament you should print a little hotter because it has a tendency to clog easier than uh darker filament so i hope this video helps others to figure out what this wave pattern is because i couldn't find a single video on youtube that actually explained why i had these wave patterns and it was really really frustrating uh to not be able to figure this out so i can now say i am back to this kind of prints it, it sh uh, stands out a lot when I show it in the light, but when you look at it straight without anything, it's it's almost as smooth as a baby's butt. And the text is just magnis magnificent. I did not use ironing on the text, I used concentric. So if you're printing text like this with a 0 0.2 nozzle, try concentric. Don't use ironing on it. it, it makes it worse. Just concentric and you're finished. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.